Good evening. We begin this hour with a Vancouver Island community cut off from the outside world. No landlines, no cell phone coverage, no 911 emergency service. High winds have damaged a radio tower that delivers the service to Port Renfrew. It happened yesterday morning. And for now, people in the area are hoping that they won't need to call for help if there's an emergency before the repairs are made. And news reporter Andrew Johnson has the story for us. New at 6. Andrew. Hudson Tellis says it hopes to restore phone service by late tonight or more likely tomorrow morning, but for the time being, people in Port Renfrew, especially first responders, are on edge. All Ron Gibbons can do right now is try to keep busy. He hoses off the Port Renfrew ambulance, knowing full well he won't be driving it anywhere anytime soon. 911 service is out, and if someone is in trouble, they'll need to come to Ron rather than the other way around. It's a little nerve-wracking, you know. Not all our calls up here are that serious, but you never know what's going to happen. And, you know, there are times when that few minutes will make a big difference in somebody's uh, outcome. Port Renfrew Fire Chief Dan Tennant feels like his hands are tied as well. The fire department owns six portable radios and he's handing out all but one of them to strategic areas around the small community. That way, if someone needs help, there will be a radio to contact first responders in a home in their neighborhood. These are the fire department radios that we're going to be issuing to the public tonight for 911 service. Ideally, it's not great for us to give these out to the public because it leaves us shorthanded, but it's the best I can do for communications. The fire chief says he's worried because the situation here yesterday and today is just one medical emergency away from turning tragic, just like he says it almost did when the phones went out a couple of years ago. We had a, a rain and ice storm that came through. Uh, we had one lady had a medical emergency and her husband uh, tried to drive the ambulance station for help. He slid off the road and uh, we ended up having to use the jaws of life to free him from his vehicle. Phone service to Port Renfrew was knocked out yesterday morning. High winds caused heavy damage to a TELUS radio dish on nearby Mount Demir between Port Renfrew and Duncan. TELUS has managed to fly a helicopter into the area and hopes to repair the problem soon. The weather's not looking great here this afternoon in the area. It's, it's fairly extreme, but it's supposed to clear tomorrow. So we're optimistic we're going to be able to fly in there tomorrow. No matter how much we invest in hardening our, our network, uh, installing new steel and redundant systems in these towers, uh, if a tree is blowing into it, there's not a lot we can do to protect it. People here are frustrated. They say phone service over the past few years has been knocked out several times for up to a week and they say it is unacceptable. It's very inconvenient. You can't do business. You can't talk to anybody. You know, you're isolated. You're really isolated. And they are hoping there is a dial tone when they really need one. Hudson, the fire chief Dan Tennant is holding a town hall meeting right now in Port Renfrew to let people know where they can access the radio to contact first responders and also to let them know there are at least two satellite phones in the community, one at the ambulance station. It will once again be a long night for everybody without phones, internet or any other kind of contact with the rest of the island. All right, we'll stay on the story, Andrew. Thank you. You're welcome.